The Isle of Sipta Vaults. What recipes can you learn inside of them? Hey everybody, I'm Rotten John, and today we're going to start looking at the different vaults and the different recipes you can learn inside of each one of them on the Isle of Sipta. So we're going to start off with the Valari of Jill Vault, and that is located right about the center of F11 on the map. I'll be doing two separate videos for each vault, one video being the recipes that you learn in each vault. The second video will be a walkthrough of where to find them and possibly some tips to make the vault quicker and easier for you to make it through. As you discover these recipes in each vault, you'll see them in your feats. And here for the Valari of Jill, you'll see that we have learned the Devolved Bird Insignia, the Devolved Bird Statue, the Devolved Bird Wing Trophy, as well as the Eldarium Plinth. We've also learned the Feather Light Weapons, and we've learned the Jill Vault Armors, including the Gloves of Jill and the Aspect of Jill Helmet. Your placeable recipes can be crafted at the Artisan Benches, and they do require Eldarium to craft them. First up here, we have the Devolved Bird and Insignia, which is a wall-mounted craftable item. You can learn the Devolved Bird statue in this dungeon also, which is a statue that can be placed anywhere in your base, as well as the Devolved Bird Wing trophy. Now let's take a look at the Jill Armory weapons. First up, we have the Feather Light Bow. This bow is a craftable legendary weapon with a durability of 1470, has a health damage of 22, armor penetration of 8%. Another weapon you can learn in the Valari of Jill is the Feather Light Chakram. The Feather Light Chakram is a legendary craftable weapon that has the bleed attribute, has a health damage of 39, an armor penetration of 8%, and a durability of 883.2. We also have the Feather Light Daggers. They're a legendary weapon that stack bleed. They have a health damage of 44, an armor penetration of 17%, and a durability of 883.2, just like the Chakrams. And last but not least for the weapons, we have the Feather Light Battle Axe. The Feather Light Battle Axe is a legendary craftable weapon. It has the Shield Smash attribute to it, has a health damage of 53, an armor penetration of 0%, and a durability of 1324.8. Alright, let's move right along to the Valari of Jill Vault Armors. First, I'd like to show you the Gloves of Jill and a couple different ways that they are useful. The Gloves of Jill are a craftable legendary light armor. They come with the Jill Stamina attribute to them. They have an armor value of 16 and a durability of 1200. Let's look at them while climbing and our stamina usage. I have 15 foundations stacked up here and we're going to climb up them at level 0 with absolutely no attribute points. If you watch our stamina bar in the upper left corner, you'll see that the longer we climb the more stamina we use and here we make it to about the middle of the eighth foundation and we are out of stamina now let's equip our gloves of jill and see how well we do with climbing and our stamina usage if you pay attention to our stamina bar in the upper left corner you'll see that while we have the gloves of jill equipped that we do use stamina but we are regaining stamina as we are using it the stamina is going down but nowhere near as quick as when we do not have the gloves gloves equipped. Keep in mind that we are still at level 1 with absolutely no points in our attribute system. And with the gloves of Jill equipped, we were able to climb all the way to the top of the 15th foundation. And we actually had some stamina left over. So let's take a quick look at the gloves of Jill while we're running. So we have an accursed banner here marking our starting point. We're still at level 0 with no attribute points. And we're going to take off in a full out sprint right from the get go and see how far we can make it. Alright, so we made it this far, we'll spawn in another banner and we'll place it here showing where we ended up running out of stamina. Now back at our starting point, we'll equip the gloves of Jill, we'll take off on a full out sprint and see how far we make it with the gloves on. Also keep in mind we are still at level 1 with absolutely no points in our attribute system. Once again, we are using up stamina, but we are also regaining a bit each time as we continue running. As soon as we run out of stamina here, we'll drop down another banner and then see what the difference is. So hell yeah for being level zero with no points in our attribute system we did make it quite a bit farther wearing the gloves of jill for those of you that are wondering the aspect of jill and the gloves of jill the helmet and the gloves are both diable as far as the aspect of jill the helmet the only thing i could find on that 
is that it does make you less afraid of heights and that it does not help you jump. I've tested it on high places, fall damage. I've tested the, the ability to dodge and roll with and without the helmet and saw no difference in anything. This mask does, however, give you a plus two to your base bonus of agility. With the bonus to agility, it probably will help you with your movement while wearing a heavier armor. I'll put a link in the description and on the screen here to the video of the walkthrough of the Valari of Jill vault. That way you can see exactly where to find each one of these recipes and I also have some tips in there to make the dungeon a little easier and quicker to get through. I hope this video helped you guys out a little bit. Make sure you're subscribed to see more information on all the other vaults on the Isle of Sipta. I hope you guys have a great day and as always we'll catch you in the next one.